Hi, yeah. Good evening. How are we doing? Midweek shave. I've not one since the weekend. A shave that is. <clears throat> so ignore what it says on the tin. What we've got there is three p Italian shave soap. Uh, this comes in quite a small tub, and it's quite hard to get the brush in. So I decanted it into a larger tin and I used this on holiday last year solidly for two weeks in the two weeks I got the soap nailed hardly used it since but it showed me that if you use one razor, one blade, one brush, one soap for a prolonged period of time you can really get dialed in and get some really good shaves so that's the soap for the night the Italian 3, 3p Italian, it's very much like cellar. It's just almond. If you like almonds, quite like amarettos. The brush for tonight, great soaking. I'm going large, I don't mean for the fries. Uh, badger, Macito shaving, 30mm badger. That's just had five minutes soaking or so. The razor for tonight has been in every shave. It normally stays just about there in the shower rack. It's not mine, it's the wife's. Don't tell her. It's our little secret. This is what my good lady uses for her legs and her, what are the bits she shaves. I don't know. It's all foreign. It's a Mercur 23C long handle, three piece razor. It's like standard Mercur head. I've taken the blade out, which is a bit rusty. We should be having words later on, reference hygiene and cleanliness. And uh, I'm just going in with a, a Wilkinson sword on its first use. Blade and the top cap. Base plate on. A little bit of overhanging feel at the sides, and just throw the handle on. I watched a video last night from Mantic Fifty Nine. It was about how much water. Down, dial in your water for your lathers, for your bushes. Instead of flicking it out like we just did there, let's give it a dunk, one little flick. What Mark says was basically take your finger and basically just squeeze about a finger from the edge of the brush. That's what's been working for him. Haven't tried it, so we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So we've got 3p. 30 mil badger, which has probably got a shed load of water in it, but it's coming together. He also said when if you lather it from the pork, hold it upside down, that way the water stays in the in the knot and doesn't go into your salt. So it just dribbles down your hand. So yeah, middle of the week. I was going to shave last night, but just got home just from work. I was just like, I had a great start to the week. Going to work Monday morning, went out to do a job, hit the remote control in the van to unlock it. Nothing. Not even a flicker from the lights. Totally dead. But we must have got the fastest response time from the AA. So I phoned up to report it knackered. The company I work for uses the air for the air account. So I phoned it in. Just to put the phone down, I'm speaking to my boss. I get two texting messages from the air. And within 40 seconds, there was an air on there. I tell you, it's like, where the hell are you come from? 
you won't find a way away. Obviously, no, no point in me showing you the tin for the ingredients on the soap. There wasn't any even the stuff that came from from Connaught when I bought this. It just said three p. It was just a label that said three p. That was it. So, I've got a question. I've had, I've used electronic cigarettes for probably close on five years. In the e-cigarette market or world, there are authentics and there are clones. The authentic is made by, used to get made by blocks of little sheds with the layers that would make them. And generally within a few weeks of them being made, Somebody would buy one similar to China. They will copy it and then market it. Not at the same price. Obviously, Bloke's got to pay for his time and his labour and everything else. If she was watching this, she'll know exactly what I'm, what I'm on about. So, that habit, it's not starting to creep in, it's in the world of wet shaving. I watched a video yesterday from Kerry. I like Kerry, we're good, we're friends. In that video, Kerry had a shave ball. If any of you have watched Paul H. or Donald Junger, Michael Freeberg, there's a shave ball in the States, made by a pot, retailed through a shop, made by a potter, called the Captain's Choice Shave Ball. And the ball Kerry had was a direct copy, except for the Captain's Choice emblem. Every other aspect, identical. I'm not a big fan of clones, never have been. I'd rather my money go to the artisan. I don't have a cap and show shave ball because I've got Ross Giles, I've got one from Ross Giles. Uh, so I don't feel the need to pay the importation fees and the shipping from the States for a cap and choice. I can understand fully why people buy them. However, if I was given a choice between an authentic supporting an artisan and a Chinese copy of the same product, I'm not talking a copy, I'm talking a direct copy. And generally, If I wanted the item, and I could afford it, I would buy the real item. There is a price difference. I think the Captain's Choice balls are thirty-five dollars, something like that. There's the one Kerry's got and was using yesterday. 
crack and ball design works really well, irrespective of what name's on the bottom of it. Ten quid, or nine pound sixty, excluding shipment from China, from AliExpress. If you watch Kerry's video, go find it. I'm not going to leave the links to it. What's the discussion point? Should you support the artisans and spend a bit more money? Or do you save yourself some money and support the mass Chinese manufacturing market? Any comments regarding the topic? Because I'm finished on it now. I'll leave them below and I look forward to reading them. That wasn't the pop of anybody. I've seen plenty of people use the Captain's Choice in videos. And Kevy's was the first one yesterday that I saw with the clone. I mean, Right, that's that one done. Finished with. I could go on, but I'm not going to. Done, dusted. How are we doing anyway? Is everybody okay? Flash, cheer up, you miserable well git. And yes, you have got big ears. I don't mean the character from Noddy. As you can see, soap, working great, just smells of almonds, that's it. Make her 23, my wife's a laser, don't tell her. She doesn't know I'm using it, I've borrowed it. I'd happily use that on holiday. Just have eh, his and her blades on the go. I would have no crime in using this on holiday. I think last year. She's a shower shaver. She shaves in the shower with whatever, whatever's to hand. Understand ease, speed, get it done, get it dusted. I'm fairly sure last year it was the first time she had her legs lathered. I got the brush out that we had. And this soap lathered up. We're here. No, my head's just gone down a different avenue. Right, stop. <clears throat> it was just a little the shot handle Merca 30. You've seen me use that a few times. That was what I took on holiday last year. That's my normal travel razor. Same head as this. Just different handle. Uh, so basically we just... I'll set the lather up. Where you go. Shave. One razor. We didn't even change blades over.
Well, I'll say that lather technique from not taking all the water out of the brush. With that brush seems to work. Just put a finger down from the top. Light squeeze. I'll leave a link to Mark's video below. Go watch it. It's not a long video, only five minutes. But uh, it's worth a watch. It's something if you struggle to get a good face lather or a good lather, get the water. A soap without enough water is like wallpaper paste. It's not good. It needs some. It needs some liquid so the chemicals can react and then it emulsifies into like a yogurt. Once then it's emulsified, you get the damn fine meringue peaks when you pull them out. Maybe and because the soap's got enough moisture, it helps with the slickness. So you get better razor glide, less chance of cuts, injuries, nicks, irritation. I hate seagulls. Flying rats are just shit on your car. Need a haircut. Despite being a relatively cheap razor. Let's still make some good noise. It'll still draw blood. Done. Yeah, plenty of lava left. As you can see. Good enough for me. Okay. I'm going to first wash with this. And then we'll be back. Possibly with some lights on. And a fan. For the post shave. So, see you in a minute. Okay. Just have rinse with some warm water. And cold water. That wasn't Welsh, it was Scottish. 
suppose you must get good Welsh water because I'm sure there's Welsh, Welsh whiskey and you only make whiskey with good water. Okay, poor chef, my DIY cedar wood and lavender witch hazel. Waiting for that to soak in, do a quick recap. Soap for today, 3p Italian, traditional Italian shaving soap. Smells of almonds from Connaught Shaving in the UK. Uh, that's it there, ignore what it says in the tinks. It comes in a small tub, a small pot, or mine did, small pot, and you can't really get a brush in it. So you've got to scrape out and bull lather it. Or just transfer it to something bigger so I could uh, face lather. So that was the soap, brush, Masito shaving, 30ml badger. You can see there, it hasn't even been dried off yet, it's just been shaken out. Coat your brush for the money. Not that you look on 35 40 quid, but comparable to brushes, two or three times that price for quality. There we go. So that was the Masito blade. It was Wilkinson, Wilkinson sword and the razor. Shh, don't tell the wife. It was hers. Mercury 23. Long handle, three piece, non adjustable. With the Wilkinson sword inside it. And I'll change that blade out. And a rusty one back in. I don't want tetanus, she can get it. Share and share alike. That's what marriage is all about. Right, we've polished off with some witch, witch hazel. I'm just going to put some L'Oreal Birch Sap Push Shave Balm. This stuff's quite thin. It soaks in quite quick. It doesn't really have a strong scent. It does work quite well. That's us folks. Uh, is there any comments regarding art is an authentic versus Chinese copies, clones? Leave them below. Be interesting, interesting discussion if one takes place. I say I wasn't having a pop at anybody. Uh, if people want to buy stuff like that to save themselves money, I can understand why they do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next year. So, bye for now.